I'm gonna take the eyes out of your hair. I'm gonna do the hair like this. You got a big hair. It's a big hair, big hair, big hair, big hair. I'm sorry, I'm a little bored. Okay, so doing the science tutorials, because I haven't done them in, you know, like fucking 40 Sundays. I could be off by a lot of days, but, you know, I haven't done it in quite some time. I know I've been putting it off, and I know I've been like, oh, yeah, I'll do it. And then I'm like, oh, wait, it's Sunday. I don't want to talk. Fuck. I'll just go to bed. But you know what? Forgive me, but these aren't that fun to make. They're okay sometimes, but for the most part, they suck. Okay, so anyway, let's begin. We, if we're gonna do hair, you gotta know how to do hair first, because you can't just do fucking hair. You can't just be like, oh, I know, I'm, I'm a hair god, I can do hair here and there, because you can't. You gotta know how to do certain things, like wisp. I don't even know the describe word for it. Okay, so if you do hair, you gotta be like, um, how am I gonna explain this? Oh, shit. Okay, so I did this. This is a guy. And he's super excited. And his hair is wisp spy. But you can see that I did the hair on a different layer, and I did it with green because I don't want it to coincide with black lines because if if I was to say turn this into black and convert it into a symbol and then break it apart uh, I wouldn't it would take a lot longer to work with and now I'm gonna do a little trick that will save so much time in the future basically I'm gonna take the a dark I'm gonna take black the color black and I'm gonna go over to the whole like rainbow circley thing and I'm only gonna move it slightly up just a little bit just enough it's still black it still looks black now I'm going to press OK, then I'm going to use my uh, grabby thing, my I don't, uh, eye drop tool, and I'm going to eye drop that shit. And now when I go to my colors, it's right there. So now I can just go ahead and put that over here since I have it now. And as it looks exactly like the original one, the color, wait, fuck, let me just do that on a different layer. See, it looks exactly like the original one. Now I'm just going to go over this one and do, just change it to black. Change it to black. 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 And you just keep doing it till you die. And okay, so I did it. There we go, now we have some douchebag who fucking swings his hair. Now I'm going to do is I'm going to Select the frame and the hair, and I'm going to press F8, and convert it all into a symbol. And you can normally do this with, like, eyes. This is what I do with, like, eyes and stuff. And then I'm going to press Control and B, and I'm going to break it apart. And now, I'm just going to color in the hair. And press F8. Do exactly what I did with the previous one. And this is basically how I do overlapping hair. As you can see, though, that I need to connect the hair because it's the same as the black line. So sometimes I'm going to have to do that, but it's pretty easy shit. It's not that hard, but, you know, and that's all you do. That's how you do overlapping hair. There's really nothing else to it. I'm just going to finish coloring it. Anyways, so I'm going to give this guy his ear back. And there we go. Hair overlapping the face. I'm gonna just preview it so you can see what it's like. It's amazing. I I don't even brag, but yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you know. So now that we did this, we are gonna do shading, and I'm gonna do a very simple shading. I'm gonna make this. For this time being, I'm going to make the sun coming from this side. The sun is shining on the side of his head. So the shadow will be all this. This will all be shadow. But there's a special trick now that I can teach you guys with shading. 
So anyways, we have a guy. I think we already established that. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a few lines, and I'm going to show you guys a trick. Normally when people shade, they work left to right. I mean, common knowledge growing up, you work left to right. You never work backwards. But strangely enough, it actually helps to shade backwards. I'm going to show you what I mean. So I'm going to do what I said. Since the light is going to be coming from this side, I'm going to have all the light coming from this side. I'm going to use a darker color of blue so I can see it when it changes see I use the onion skin and I cannot see what the fuck I even did like it's retarded but now I'm gonna remove what I did and I'm gonna work backwards so since the lights coming from this side uh, have that do this it's the brilliant shading on my part me a brag but you know you know you, know, you got it, you got it and then wait what the fuck okay and then the light's gonna be like this and as you can see I can actually see the lines so I can actually see where to move and it works as far back as I want to go I can keep doing it this way since there's like a bit of a swoosh going on with the hair So the shading will look autistically retarded. Dumb. It makes no sense. See that? It looks like dick. But you get the idea. You can shade backwards. That's how you do it. That's how I normally do it. I hope my ran random babbling was coherent enough to understand. And we'll see you next Sunday. No. Wait. Uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe, I forget, only time will tell.